hello hello so i haven't done a tag in quite some time um i'll be honest i've kind of got, gone off them a little bit uh but 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 when two of the most lovely people on booktube create an original tag and tag you in it and the questions are fabulous i couldn't resist and so today i'm going to be doing the think twice book tag which was created by the lovely AJ at AJ Dan Reads and Writes and Jolene at Bookworm Adventure Girl. So there are 12 questions and let's let's just get into them shall we? So question number one, Double Vision, a book that features twins. So <clears throat> I had a little think and then I was like, oh, Gemma, you idiot. There's a really obvious one to this. And that is Great Circle by Maggie Shipstead. I read this earlier this year. This is one of my top 10 books of the year. And within it, Marion is a twin. She has a twin brother called Jamie. Oh, this book is, is an absolute delight. If you like sort of epic sweeping historical fiction with fabulous characters that you fall in love, that have tie-ins all through the book that sometimes you don't even realize is relevant until the end of the book, this is the book for you. It follows Marion, who is aspiring to be a pilot in the 1920s, and it follows her journey of trying to become a pilot, and then eventually her ambition of trying to fly the Great Circle from pole to pole. Brilliant, brilliant book. Absolutely adored it. Five stars. So, so good. Go try it. Question number two, and I've just realised I didn't bring this book up with me, but the prompt is Double Talk, a book with two or twice in the title and I really really struggled with this one and then I thought you know what I do have a book with two in the title that I love and I've read about 5,000 times and that is One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish by Dr Seuss so yeah as you can probably tell by the cover which is now here instead of in my hands this is a children's picture book and we love it we love it in our house uh, we love a bit of rhyme in our storybooks at bedtime and yeah in true Dr Seuss fashion it's pretty nonsensical and we love it. Question number three seeing double a book with a reflection or shadow or mirror image on the cover and for this I've gone for American Dirt by Janine Cummins. I know that there is some issues with this book but I really enjoyed it and the point for this prompt is that you can see like down the middle hopefully hopefully it's over here somewhere um it is sort of like a mirror image of this sort of blue almost florally pattern from one side to the other and this follows a mother and son who try to flee a mexican cartel and they try to go over to the border over the border to the us and i thought it was fantastic okay next question is take two two book covers that look similar but are by different authors. And so for this, I've gone for Trespassers by Louise Kennedy. Um, and this is about the troubles in Ireland. I don't know too much about it. I haven't read it yet. Um, but yeah, so that one. And Shaggy Bane by Douglas Stewart, which is about a young boy in Glasgow who has a mother with alcohol problems, I think. Um, so yeah, I think those are pretty pretty similar uh they've even both got similar colored text golden yellow um but yeah obviously i don't think i need to explain to you why these are similar they're real people and they're black and white <laughs> so yeah that's what i've chosen for that prompt question number five i second that a retelling so i'm going to go here for house of names by column to boyne I read this last year. This is a retelling of the story of Clytemnestra and Agamemnon. It is told from various perspectives, but particularly the perspectives of Clytemnestra's children. And I thought it was such a beautiful retelling. It was very, very different to any retelling that I'd read before because I felt like it was more of a literary retelling than a literal retelling, if that makes sense. So yeah, highly recommend, fantastic book. Um, and I really need to get to some more column to point. Question six, two can play at that game, a character who plays two roles or has an alter ego. And so I'm gonna choose a book that I'm currently reading for this and I'm gonna go for the character of Dantes in The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm about 600 pages into this at the moment, so almost exactly 50% through. But the character of Dantes 
is um, definitely has two sides to him, a side that he presents to the world and a side, a darker side that he keeps hidden away which I'm expecting to come out towards the end of the book but as I'm only halfway through I can't really tell you but it'd probably be spoilers even if I was at the end and could tell you uh but yeah so I think that's I think that's a good answer for this prompt number seven it takes to a duology and I don't think I've ever read a duology <laughs> so but I do have one on my TBR and that is the Monk and Robot duology by Becky Chambers which starts with the Psalm of the Wild Built and I can't remember the name of the second one <laughs> but I don't really know too much about it I think it's sort of got LGBTQ themes in it and to be honest I don't really need to know what it's about because I am currently four percent from the end of my second Becky Chambers book and I know that I adore her work so I will definitely be getting to this ASAP. Prompt number eight on the double a book told in two timelines so for this I've gone for The Woman in the White Kimono by Anna Johns and this is a very sort of typical split timeline you have uh, the current timeline where you have someone looking to discover the past of a grandparent and then you have the time that their grandparent lived in and this is sort of towards the end of world war ii where american soldiers are still in japan and a young woman who sort of falls in love with an american soldier that sort of story but there is quite a lot of horrificness within this and it was one of those that made me cry so hard <laughs> at the end that i couldn't even see the pages to read it uh so yeah i really really enjoyed this book and it has a dual time timeline prompt number nine a perfect pair the last two books she gave five stars to and if you follow her channel you'll know i literally just did a review for this the poison with bible by barbara kingsolver five stars oh, so so good uh if you want to know more about this book then check out that review but broadly it's about a preacher who takes his family to the belgian congo in the uh late 50s early 60s and the other book that I gave five stars to was a complete surprise because I just picked it up because it was short and I was, I'm doing short September. <laughs> and that is The Test by Sylvain Nouvelle. So I'm not really going to tell you anything about this, but this is available on Audible Plus. So if you have an Audible subscription, check it out. It's like two hours. So, so worth it. All I'm going to say is that it's about a man taking a, ah, what's the word? Like a civilian test, like a... A test to become a citizen a citizen test citizenship test one of those but i didn't know anything going into this and i think that is the best way to be because several points in that book i went wait what <laughs> what just happened uh fantastic fantastically written and yeah blew my mind so pick that one up prompt number 10 two for the show a book that has been adapted to film two or more times and I'm going to pick another book that I've read this year for this, and that is The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. This is a very famous sci-fi. H.G. Wells is one of the one of the founders of sci-fi as we know it today. And I'm sure a lot of people sort of know the general premise of this. Aliens come down and there is a war of worlds. Um, <laughs> but when I looked into it, this has been the inspiration for seven seven films it has also been converted into radio dramas there have been comic am adaptations video games and tv shows this has been adapted in every possible way you can imagine multiple times uh say so i think i deserve like bonus points or something for for that answer if i'm honest prompt 11 two's company and this is a book with two or more authors or a translated book so a book with an author and a translator and i witted on about this book quite a lot last year um, but if you're new you may not have heard me wish on about it and that is tender is the fish by agustina bazterica which is translated by the spanish and i forgot to write the translator down which is very naughty but i'll put it here um, and this book was exceptional all I'm going to say is that you follow the assistant manager of a human abattoir. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. It's so good. And the final prompt, double take, recommend two books you think would pair well together. And here I'm going to pick two books that I've read super recently, but 
really have very similar art vibes and that is night crawling by layla motley i've done a solo review i'll link it below shameless plug uh which follows sort of a young girl in america a young black girl in america and sort of her experience with race and poverty and yeah see the review if you want more details but then recently more recently <laughs> i read salvage the bones by jesmond ward and the writing styles are so so similar again we're following a young black girl in that um but that is based around hurricane katrina and the effects of that and it also features quite a lot of dog fighting so if that is a trigger and that's something you don't like to read about then you have been forewarned but the yeah the writing styles were really similar so if you didn't like night crawling which i know some people didn't then probably you wouldn't like salvage the bones but if you did like night crawling i think you would really really love salvage the bones so that's my that's my little pair also just to mention here that uh jolene and aj have done some sort of book pairing videos of their own so go over to their channels and check those out because they're really fabulous and so all that's left to do is tag some people i forgot to write any people down but luckily <laughs> AJ and Jolene have literally only just done this tag so I've kind of got free reign so I'm gonna tag Charlie from Charlie Brook who is adorable please check her out Dia from Novel Idea Dia is a newer channel and she's so fabulous I absolutely love her stuff please go go check her out too and let's think of one more person oh Jennifer from Jennifer Loves Books uh, because I just love our salty dialogue me and Jennifer have pretty much opposite taste of books, so <laughs> I, uh, I go to Jennifer's channel, particularly for the DNFs, so that I can find some five-star <laughs> recommendations. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave my night crawling review here for you, just because, you know, it could do with some more love. <laughs> and I will catch you all very soon with another one. Bye, guys.